Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Cryptomina. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you are doing well. Today I want to show you how you can set up your MetaMask for Kronos blockchain. But in this video, I will show you if you are on a Binance Smart Chain and if you want to convert your BNB to Kronos uh, blockchain and USD, how can you do? So let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is to go to your MetaMask, install it if you don't have it yet, um, and then add the RPC for Kronos uh, chain. The one of the easy way that I like to do is to come to this website. It is called chainlist.org. I will leave it in the description below and just search for Kronos. So, or you can also search for other uh, blockchain. But anyhow, right now we are talking about Kronos. So it will show you the two uh, Kronos. One is the mainnet and beta, and the other one is Kronos testnet. So we want to have the mainnet. All you have to do is click on add to MetaMask. If I go, I will see that I am now on Kronos uh, main and beta. So that's the quickest way of adding it. You don't have to enter into the address, RPC address, the chain ID and stuff like that. But if you still want to do it manually and you don't trust this website, what you can do is come to the custom RPC. It is at the bottom and then you click here, enter the network name, which will be Kronos and um, then you will be adding the address. I will leave this address in the description below. So you will have to copy this and just paste it here. And once you are done, just click save. I cannot save it because I have already this added via the chain link. But if it's the first time you are adding it, it will allow you to save it. And then you are done. Now we have set up MetaMask to the network of Corona. So you can now send your cryptocurrency on a Kronos blockchain. Now the next step is how we are going to send your BNB to Kronos network. We have the Kronos address now, but how do we send it? So there are a few ways. One of the easiest way in my opinion is to have the crypto.com app. If you have a crypto.com app, you can just buy any cryptocurrency from there and send it over um, to your this address so that is very simple that's the, i think the best way to do it however if you do not have a crypto.com app there is another way of doing it uh, for that i will show you this website all you have to do is to come to elk.finance i will leave the link in the description below so you are on the correct website and uh, you let's say you are on the binance smart chain network uh, your wallet is needs to be on Binance Smart Chain, let's say I'm on there and I want to convert my BNB uh, to Kronos uh, blockchain. So what I have to do is with my BNB, I want to buy ELK. The ELK is the native token for this. So I'm going to search for ELK. So I'm going to convert 0 0.03 BNB into ELK. I'm going to get uh, 6.24 ELK. I'm going to click on swap, approve the transaction. All right, so I have now swap my bnb for elk now the reason why i did that is because they also have a bridge here so you see this um, elk network um, and if i go there i have an option to bridge my elk over to dif different chains so i have an option to bridge my elk over to different chains so i'm going to select because i want to be on chronos chain i'm going to select chronos and i'm going to select my max elk and it's gonna yeah, it does this so every time you click on it for the first time it just takes you back um all right so i have selected this and now it is asking that do you want to swap a one elk for the gas so remember if you are on the chronos network you will need the gas fee i have clicked swap elk for one gas because i want to have a gas fee i'm going to approve this transaction all right the next step is to click on transfer I'm now going to approve this transaction as well. All right, so now it says it's completed. So if I go to my MetaMask, I must change my network to my Kronos network. I will see I have CRO. Remember, I swapped some of my tokens for CRO because CRO is going to be the gas for the network. So I, if I don't have CRO in my wallet, I will not be able to do any transaction. So to get started, I do need CRO, So which I did. Now I have it, but you see, I don't see my ALK. Where are they? They are in my account, but I cannot see it because I have not added the contract address for 
ALK. Now, how can you find a contract address? The simplest way is to copy your address from this top, go to a Kronos Explorer, and just paste your address here. I will leave the links to the explorer um, in the description below so you know. Now you have to come to the token and you will see I have my elk in here. This is my contract address for elk, not my address, but it's a universal address for elk. I'm going to add this as a token on my MetaMask. Click on import tokens, put in the contract address and it should pick up the rest of the information import token and now I do see my balance. So I have now ALK as well as my Kronos. Kronos is the gas and ALK is what I trust. And now the next step is to swap your ALK for anything else. For that you can go back to the ALK um, and go to swaps. Now I am on Kronos network. What I can do is it automatically um, pick up ALK. I can transfer it into USD T if I need that and click on approve elk. See how low the transaction fees are on Kronos network. So that's the advantage of using that. Hopefully it will go quickly. And once I swap it, it is asking me, do you want to add USDT to MetaMask? Let me just do that so I can see it without get to the explorer and I don't have to copy the contract address. Now I have my CRO tokens and my USDT. I have used all my ALK to convert them into USDT. If you don't see your USDT again, the simplest way is to copy your wallet address, come to Explorer, search for your address and go to the tokens. You will see your different tokens that you have in your wallet. Here is your wallet, uh, the contract address for the balance that you have in your wallet right now i have only usdt and i can see that this is a contract address i can come here and on my metamask click on import tokens and add it so this is how you do it there are a couple of steps so let's me let me reiterate what i have done so far first of all you need to have a metamask and on metamask you want to add a chronos network there are two way the quick way is to just go to chain link and search for chronos add it to MetaMask. Remember to add it mainnet beta. Once you click on add MetaMask, you probably have to first approve it to connect to your MetaMask wallet and add it to MetaMask and you will be done. You have your Kronos network on your MetaMask. The other way is to add it manually and you will be adding it using the new RPC, URL, the chain ID and the symbol. These are the two ways to add the blockchain to MetaMask. Now, once you're set up with the MetaMask, the next step is to send your uh, tokens to Kronos Network. The easiest way is to go to your Crypto.com app if you have it or if you are KYC, then you can use it. Um, to select your network. This will this wallet address will be your address where you want to send it. And that's it. You don't have to do much after that. If you do not have crypto.com or you don't want to use the centralized way, if you don't want to use that, then you have to do multiple steps. And for that, you have to come to elk.finance. You can convert from Binance Smart Chain. If you have BNB, convert your BNB to elk. The reason why you want to convert it to elk is because elk is the only option for you to bridge to Kronos. So you convert your balance whatever you have bnb or usd whatever you have to elk and from elk you bridge your elk over to chronos network now you have something on your chronos network when you are doing it remember to leave something for your fee so you cro will be your gas fee for chronos network once you are on the chronos network with the gas fee you can come back to this swap swap your elk for whatever you want usdt or whatever you want to go from there and that's it let me know uh, if you have any question, first time when you are trying it, try with a small amount so you know and keep in mind all the fee because you're doing multiple swaps so there will be some fee. But luckily for uh, Binance Smart Chain and Kronos Network, the fee are very minimal, they are few cents so it will should be fine. But 
Try to do it in a small uh, transaction first time. And once you get a hang of it, then you can do the bigger transaction. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you have any question and I will see you soon. Happy investing.